Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> it, uh, it has been a while since I have filmed or communicated with you guys. Um, <clears throat> a couple weeks back, uh, under the community tab, if you had saw the post, I did let you guys know that a family member of mine had, um, had passed away. Um, it's still very raw. <laughs> uh, doesn't even feel real sometimes. <clears throat> but, um, you know, I just kind of been taking time for myself, time with my family, uh, my kids to kind of heal. Um, that's have like, that's been many different things. <laughs> Uh, healing is definitely a process and um, you know I thought about filming last week and I just I wasn't ready um, but the reason I am coming back this week is because I want to get back to me I want to get back to filming because it is something I love and it's something that does make me happy and I think I could really use that right now um, you know focusing on happiness um, rather than sadness, it, if that makes any sense. Um, this is actually one of the first times I've put on any kind of makeup. Um, it feels weird. <laughs> it feels weird. Um, almost kind of foreign. <clears throat> but, I don't know, it also feels good to be back at the same time. Uh, so yeah, that is where I am. That's where I've been. Um, you know, to those of you who have reached out, I really appreciate it. It meant a lot to me. And, um, let's move on to the video. <laughs> um, okay, so I have received, uh, my Ipsy PR box, oops, for the month of July. Uh, so we're going to open this. Now, I did receive, uh, my... Ipsy for last month. Um, I never got to film it, but it actually ended up being better than my PR box. I got a, a full size Fenty Beauty highlighter. Um, what else did I get? Uh, Ciate London uh, face primer. Um, I don't remember what else, uh, but I do remember it being a very good box and I'm really happy with it. So I am happy to report that. Hopefully, my um, my Ipsy's that I purchased for July will be here soon. Um, my box for June actually showed up like July 1st. So it was very, very late, which is uncommon for them. I normally don't have to wait that long. But um, yeah, so for the month of July, this is our Ipsy Glam Bag. I think it's super, super cute. Uh, it's got like this turquoise green. It's got this little uh, seashell tab to it. It's uh, so adorable. I love it. This is definitely be cute for travel, especially if you're like traveling to the um, the beach. Okay, so the very first item ooh, that we have is an eyeliner. Um, this is from Prestige. This is a waterproof eyeliner in the shade Smoky Green. Um, that's actually pretty exciting. If you guys know, I don't mind eyeliners. Um, I like it when they send me different colors. That's really exciting for me. It looks brown, but it said smoky green. Let's give it a swatch. There is no way that is smoky green, you guys. That's brown. That is flat out brown, which is fine. I like brown eyeliners, but there is nothing green about this at all. So, a little bit uh, misrepresentation, but um, there's nothing green about that. So, I still like it. It's really creamy, and uh, I like that it's waterproof, so that's fun. I'll still add it to my collection. Okay, the next item is from Kenship. This is a Bright Wave Energizing Eye Cream. I do like eye creams, so that's really nice. It says it's clean, cruelty-free, vegan, and dermatologically tested. It's supposed to blur and brighten, so that's nice. The next item is from Smashbox. This is their original photo finish uh, smooth and blur primer. 
This is not a bad primer. I actually do enjoy it. Um, of course, I do have my absolute favorites, but I would definitely still use this. It's not a bad little sample size, so that's nice. I will definitely be putting that to use. Another item we have is, I feel like I've gotten this before. This is a um, from Gold Fatten MD. This is for problem uneven skin tones. It is a moisturizer. And the very last item we have, <laughs> nice, I like this one. No, I know we've gotten this before, but it's, it's fine because actually I do enjoy the mascara. This is Bad Gal Bane Mascara from Benefit. So really like this, this is, <laughs> really like that this is in here. Um, I do enjoy mascaras. It's something I wear a lot of. Um, so that makes me happy. All right. Moving on to what's supposed to be our in our Ipsy Plus. Uh, the first item is a rose infused lip oil from Vemigas. Oh, there's two in here. Okay. So this is what they look like. Very nice. Um, I actually don't really use lip oils, so I'm going to put this in a giveaway. Uh, speaking of giveaways, I did want to do a big back to school giveaway, which I will still do. I don't know if it's going to be towards the end of this week or next week, so stay tuned for that. However, okay, so the next item we have is from Murad. This is an acne control oil and pore control mattifier broad spectrum with SPF of 45. This does not fit my um, skin condition at all. Uh, I am dry, I'm not oily. I do have semi-acne prone skin. It actually has toned down. Um, but my daughter has this. She has a lot of oil and oiliness in her skin, um, some acne. So I'm gonna actually pass this along to her and that's going to be perfect. Another item we have is from Volition. This is Screen Time Hydra Mist uh, with Avic Green Tea and Rosehip Oil. That sounds really nice. Shake well, hold bottle about 12 inches away from face and spray while eyes are closed. Apply throughout the day as needed. Nice. Uh, I don't know if it smells like roses, but if it does, I'm going to have to pass on it because I'm not really a rose type person and then I'll end up just putting it in a giveaway. So we'll test that later. <clears throat> okay. The next item is from Item Beauty. Uh, this is a Boost Juice Dual Ended Lash Primer. Lash primers are okay. I don't really think they do anything, but that's just my personal opinion. I like the packaging that was extremely easy to open <laughs> I love it when packaging is easy to open if I'm sitting here and I'm fighting it it, it gets so frustrating so just a little pull tab and out it comes very nice so one side is supposed to be for volume and the other side is for length so I guess you could use both if you needed both it's blue. It's blue. Does it turn clear? <laughs> um, and that one's pink. I'm gonna put this on my hand. I wanna see if over time if it like turns what, blue and pink. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Are these? Let's see. Nourish, condition, and prime lashes with this dual end primer that disappears under mascara. Lilac side volumizes with blue side lengthens and on um, and both give lashes that boost they need. Choose your boost. It says you can apply boosting base under the mascara because it's supposed to disappear under the mascara or wear alone for a pop of color that's interesting that blue is so vibrant um i want to test this out not right now because i already have mascara on but this one actually kind of makes me excited 
I don't normally dig like lash primers, but the fact that they're colorful, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right. Oh, I didn't show you guys the bag. I'm sorry. So this is the bag for the Glam Bag Plus. It kind of is like wavy. Reminds me of like the beach theme. That's cute. And then our last item is Wing Me Ambitious Violet Eyeshadow Palette. Very nice. Uh, it's cruelty free and vegan. It says the ambitious violet is inspired by the Lebanese American poet. Oh, I'm so sorry if I murder this name. Gahil, and uh, Gahil Gibron, who promoted rebellion, hope, and pur purpose. Um, the palette features a signature collection of eight wildflower-infused neutral shades with a pop of color reflecting the essence of nature's beauty. And then it has a quote from uh, Gibron. It says, I have finally extended my knowledge to a world beyond the narrow cavern of my birth. This is the design of life. This is the secret of its ex existence. That's really special. I like that. Uh, so this is the packaging right here. Very colorful. And oh, what a pretty palette. I love the pop of purple. Oh, you know what? This actually kind of fits like a fall theme but it's really really pretty you guys let's do some swatches okay I know I want to swatch this bright purple and oh that's so pretty the dark purple very pretty I want to kind of swatch this one and this one and you know for fun my thumb doesn't swatch very well but there are the shades. Very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. The dark purple. Mmm, I love that. That one's a little patchy, but definitely buildable. Did you see how it went from patchy to when I was like blending it, filling it in? Okay, and then darker shade a little bit of the same thing and my thumb which like I said does not do good swatches but it has the shimmer on the bottom it's a really pretty color story I definitely want to do a look with this um, so I actually was filming a, uh, a makeup look when I got the call so I didn't I didn't get to finish it, but uh, I don't know. This kind of makes me want to sit down and film another makeup look. Um, it's been a while since I've been excited about uh, a makeup palette, um, but I really like the color story in here, and it just it makes me happy. So I can't wait to create a look with that. That's going to be really, really pretty. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if I feel a little off to you. I'm, it's my first time back and um, I don't know, we'll just get better with time. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget, I got the back to school giveaway going on uh, that will either start, oh God, this weekend or next week. This is the bag. It's freaking heavy. Oh. Whew, that is heavy. <laughs> um, so all that will be included in the big back to school giveaway. So that's it. Thank you guys. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I really, really would appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.